Welcome to a look at the ARTS APG66 transmitter test demonstration. In this demonstration, we're looking at testing the TWT base transmitter for the F-16 radar with the APG66. This 66 transmitter has also been used on other platforms such as the P-3 Orion and the BAE Hawk. Now what's happening here is the basic cables are being hooked up, the power of the communication, and they're being connected into the ITA. You see the waveguide load such that the radiation coming out from it is safely captured and you see the sidewall coupler there that is used as a pickoff port in order to measure the gain of the system and the power, total power output. Transmitter interface test adapter is used to interconnect the cables to the test system. Now the cables that you saw that were hooked up to the APG66 transmitter will be hooked up to this ITA. You see there's a quick change here from one ITA to another. It's made such that the user cannot damage the pins when changing them out. The zero insertion force zip connector pins are hooked up here. These zip connector pins are very convenient, high reliability, made for tens of thousands of cycles. We hook these up and we prepare to launch our test. Each one of these connectors is individually keyed so that one connector cannot be accidentally placed into the wrong connection point. Here we go through the graphical selector here. We select the image and part number of the APG66 transmitter. This one is a version 2 of the 66 that runs a TWT that is different from the baseline. The operator enters the serial number here such that we have traceability for the test in the long run. Now running this allows us not just to collect data for the individual test, but allows us to store this such that uh, the individual test is, is kept with the serial number and distinguished from ones run previously with the same serial number. Here we have tests running on not just the communications interfaces, but also the total power output, health of the high voltage of the pressure vessel, and other characteristics for the healthy and safe running of the transmitter. final output power you see here is written as uh, over 70 dBm. There's range set up with that. You see them going from pass from not run to pass. And in the end, we will have a completed test with a test report that can be reviewed and stored. We see we have one variation here that has to do with the peak power test. The operator ends and saves the results. If you have an opportunity, check us out online at duotechservices.com. Check out the capabilities we have for the transmitter and for other assets. Visit us at duotechservices.com and check out the information on our page about the ARTS test system.